Okay, I'm going to now do the um, construction tutorial. Or the first one. So, I'm going to follow the gold arrows tutorial down this way and then this way welcome to the tutopia tutopia tutorial tower <laughs> that's the mining one over there construction C1 and that hit the space bar to go up and then enter one of these VR pods or whatever they are called activate tutorial completed uh, okay yeah because I've done it already <laughs> first recording went wrong so I've got to go through it again and this is a bit of a long one replay tutorial yeah um, on completing this one you get um, 10,000 contests which is the cat the money and you get 5,000 talent points it's very useful okay so here we go replay tutorial Here's me trying to pretend I, <laughs> I was doing that for the first time. Welcome to the basic building tutorial, where you'll learn how to create and build structures with voxels and elements. To begin, approach the dispenser in front of you. Okay. Activate the... To begin placing voxels, you must first be in build mode. To do so, aim your reticle at the core unit and press the build mode key. That's the core unit, our oh, core. And B. We will start by deploying voxel materials. First, you'll need to select the voxel deploy tool, tool voxel underscore tool underscore index slash tool. Two. And now you must equip the material you wish to build with. Open your inventory. To be able to deploy a material, you can add it to your consumable slots for future quick access. These are found on the right hand side of your screen. Simply drag the item man. Oops. I, uh. boobed. <laughs> I didn't, didn't uh, collect the other stuff. Silly me. And right, what she said was. drag this to. What did she say? <laughs> I can't remember what she said. She must. Oh, hang on. We now, can activate. Deploy yeah, voxels. Okay. Hold down the left mouse button and drag to form the length and width of the shape you wish to create. Release the left mouse button and move your cursor again to set the height of your volume. A final left mouse click finalizes the process and deploys the rectangular volume. You'll I need to start from near the core. Look at the cubic cursor shown where you point. It should be blue and not red, indicating that you can deploy at that position. Give it a try. Place a shape consisting of at least eight total voxel cubes to continue. If you are having trouble, watch the screen for an example. Damn, she can talk. <laughs> Chattity chat chat chat. Yeah, I activated it in the inventory by double clicking. Double clicking on that activated the... Uh, so that became the thing that I am holding. Anyway, left click to there, left Great click. Great job. All right. Now let's go over how to revert your changes. Anything you build in a construct can be undone quite easily. Simply enter build mode and press the undo key. Each press of this button will undo a recent voxel or element change. Backspace. Try removing the shape you just feel free to practice for a bit. When you're done, disable build mode. Okay, I think that's enough. B. Move to the next platform, and we can continue. Okay. 
There is an additional way to remove voxels besides the undo function. To begin learning this, point at the construct before you, for example by aiming at the yellow block or the highlighted core, and enter build mode. Select the deploy voxel tool. Tool voxel underscore tool. With the deploy voxel tool now active, hold down the invert key. As a general rule, this key is used to invert any tool action, and you will find it works in many different contexts. Try removing a voxel cube by holding that button down and double clicking somewhere on the voxel surface. Okay, Alt. Click. Oh, double click. To remove multiple voxels, simply follow the same procedure you took for placing them but keep the key pressed. In particular, you can drag and drop a volume in the same way you did when deploying voxels. Remove the red wall and enter the next room to continue. Looks like you've got the hang of it now. Let's move on to creating more elaborate shapes. Tail. I'm going to be turning off build mode for you from now on, when we are done editing. You didn't let me through. <laughs> Crazy woman. Okay, so select. Oh, hang on, that's I'm supposed to do alt. Um, oops. <laughs> Just block myself in even more. Okay, uh, backspace. Backspace that. Yes. Now, alt. Select all. Release. Click. Yay! <laughs> in addition to cubes, the deploy voxel tool is capable of placing spheres, triangles, pyramids and cylinders. Let's give that a shot now. Start by entering build mode while pointing at the construct in front of you. Why am I stuck? That is very strange. I can't seem to go any further that way. Okay, I have to do it from here. So, B. And... Oh, okay, I can move now. Excellent. Try again, B. Now activate your voxel deploy tool. You can change the shape of your voxel brush by pressing the change shape key. Try it now. Excuse me, I just had a cup of tea. A drink. Right, so, change shape. E key. Press E. Each time you press the change shape key, the voxel brush shape will cycle to the next available type. Sphere. Combine these shapes and you can build anything imaginable. Check out the remaining shapes and then we'll continue. E gives us that triangle type thing. A cylinder. Now let's explore how to and resize your voxel another brush. Another triangle type shape. When you have the deploy type voxel tool active, holding the modifier key and scrolling the mouse wheel plus will adjust the current size of your selected voxel shape. Try increasing and decreasing the voxel brush size now. Okay. Holding the modifier key and scrolling the mouse. Modifier key is control. Scroll. Great. Oh, there you go. Now we'll try placing voxels in each of the possible brush shapes. As well. you can see, the position of the brush is controlled by where you look. But when placing voxels or elements, you can also gain precision by moving your point of contact around using the following keys. Pressing will revert to the mouse look based positioning. Okay. Let's place a cube, the standard shape type for voxel placement. Place a sphere next. Okay. E. Spheres can be tricky to work with, but through creative use of their shape you'll be able to fashion anything you can imagine. Dragging while creating this shape will extend the radius of the voxel brush. Now place a triangle. That sphere doesn't look much like a sphere. <laughs> okay, so triangle. Guess it's that one. 
This shape is fantastic for reducing sharp edges on your structures, and are great for creating ramps and other similar angled surfaces. Dragging out this shape changes the angle of the edge, or the width of the voxel brush. Now, place a cylinder. Cylinder E. Where shall I put you? Yes. This shape is absolutely perfect for pillars, nice. complex curved shapes, and similar creations. Ooh, put one there. Dragging while creating <laughs> this shape will extend the height of the voxel brush. Finally, place a tetrahedron. It is easy place to what? identify. <laughs> it looks like a pyramid. Okay. Where can I... Hmm... Tetrahedrons are among the trickiest voxel shapes to place, but provide a fantastic slanted edge that the triangle voxel cannot replicate. Dragging out mm -hmm. this shape changes the height and cool. width of the voxel brush. Move to the next room to continue. Ah, the select voxel tool allows you to rapidly copy, rotate or delete entire voxel selections with ease. Let's start by enabling build mode on the nearby demonstration construct. Activate your select voxel tool. Tool select underscore tool underscore index slash tool. To use the select voxel tool, you will have to progressively define a rectangular volume by designating points that must be included in it. Click on the place that will be a starting point with the voxel brush. Then, click again on another corner of the volume to complete your selection. You can continue adding to this volume by selecting more voxels, or by using a modifier key in the mouse wheel. When you are satisfied with your current selection, press the copy key to copy the voxels volume. Copy key is Ctrl and C. You'll notice that your cursor now displays the voxel content of the volume that you selected. It is called a voxel element. Paste a copy of that voxel element to continue. If you lack materials, equip another of your materials through your inventory by double-clicking on it. You can rotate a selection, elements, the voxel brush or voxel elements through using the rotate key and scrolling with the mouse wheel. Tapping the rotate key will instead flip the axes of the selection. The rotation plane is determined by the current surface you are pointing at. To continue, adjust the rotation of your element using the rotate key and scrolling with the mouse wheel. Okay, R. You can cancel any selection you have made Whee. quite easily, should you need to do so. Simply press cancel, and your current selection will be immediately cancelled. Try this now. Esk. When you cancel a selection or swap tools when using the select voxel tool, you will lose your currently saved selection stored in the voxel buffer. To reapply your previously selected shape you need only to activate the select voxel tool, tool select underscore tool underscore index slash tool, once again, and press the paste hotkeys. Try doing this now. Okay, so... 7. Okay, 7. And control V. The select voxel, tool select underscore tool underscore index slash tool, tool has some other useful features. In addition to copying and pasting it is also able to cut and remove voxels. Both cut and remove are accomplished in essentially the same way as copying, select a starting and ending point using the voxel brush. Once you have made a selection, you will be able to apply cut and remove it. Before we can do that, you'll need to reset the current selection by pressing escape. What escape. Once this is done, select some voxels and try to cut them out. Okay. Let's do that. I, I interrupted her. Select. Let's do that. Control X. Now try the same process, but after you create okay. your selection, Let's press cut the them remove out. key. Ah, so that's actually cut them from there. So what do, does she want me to do? Now try the same process, but after you create your selection, press the delete key. 
So this has cut them and, and enabled us to, t to take them and stick some of them somewhere, like there. Okay, let's, uh, esk. Let's, uh... Oops. Let's try the delete thing. We delete. Let's delete that. And delete that. So we got that group at the top there. And then the delete. Remove key with the delete. Has delete. Feel free to play with Boom. rotation, cutting, copying, removing, and pasting for a while. Don't forget that you can cancel selections with cancel. When you're ready to continue, go to the next room. Okay. Predefined objects you can place on constructs, such as doors, engines, weapons or lights, are referred to as elements. When you started this tutorial you were given several elements. Enter build mode on the construct in front of you to continue. B. To deploy an element, you'll first need to select the element tool. Do that now. Now go ahead and open your inventory. Look into your inventory and find the element named steel panels. These are decorative elements you can place to make nice looking metal panels. Double click on steel panels to add them to the temporary slot or drag them into one of your consumable slots. Double click. Now that you have an element type placed in a slot, you can place it down on the construct. Don't forget that you can hold rotate or use your mouse wheel to adjust how it is oriented. Tapping the key will cycle through each possible contact surfaces it can be placed on. This allows for complete control over how your elements are deployed. Place two elements to continue. Okay, so our mouse wheel does that. Tap R. And it does it like that. Hold R. Mouse wheel. Let's place that. Rotate, tap. The move element tool allows you to relocate elements you have already placed down without needing to delete or remove them. Activate the move element tool. Okay, nine. With the tool active, choose an element you placed and click the left mouse button. This will detach the element and once this is done you'll be able to move it around. Here again, the arrow keys allow for more precise adjustments. Instead of relying on the mouse pointing, each press of a key will move an element a single step in the chosen direction. When you are satisfied with a new position, place the element down by clicking the left mouse button. Okay. arrow keys of our slight movement to get more accuracy click now we'll cover the translate function and how to remove deployed elements select the element tool again and pick an element hold the translate key and use the mouse wheel to adjust the distance of an element relative to the desired surface also, using this tool you can lock the element to one plane, which is useful since you can place it on the surface you want, and move it along the desired plane, even in midair. Once you are happy with the distance, simply click the mouse. Try out the translate function now. Okay, hang on. Now translate. Remember, the invert key is inverting the current tool's use, allowing for removal of elements rather than placing them. Use invert and click on the elements you added. Your highlight feedback should be orange in color when doing so, indicating that the element can be removed. Remove all the elements you have placed. Okay. Yeah, so translates allow me to move this up and down like that. T, the translate key. K. 
cool. Oops. <laughs> oh. Alt. So alt to remove. Alt. Click. 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 That covers basic elements. To continue, go over to the dispenser and activate it, and we will continue. So far, you've been working within existing constructs. Next, we'll go over how to create a construct from scratch. To accomplish this you will require a core unit. These enable you to construct buildings, ships and space stations. For now we're just going to worry about static core units, which are used for buildings. Now head outside towards the waypoint. Okay. Now this is where I messed up before. I went. <laughs> I exited. Yeah, it was there. That's where I went. So what are you going to do? This is not going to go wrong again, is it? Don't go wrong! Wait, I think it was my fault, actually. Open your inventory when you are ready to proceed to the next step. Uh-huh. That's what I missed. <laughs> I wasn't listening to what she was saying. Inventory. Equip your static core into your temporary slot by double-clicking it. Before you can place a core, you must enable the deploy ground element tool. Tool deploy underscore tool underscore index slash tool. Easy for Do you to so say. Now. Um, give me a tip, clue, clue, where is it? That's a scanner, this is all mining stuff. That's Under Novian law you would normally be required to uh -huh. deploy a territory unit to claim land, and then deploy a static core. This tutorial waives this requirement. Locate a place a small distance beside or behind the nearby building. Point your core unit at the ground, and deploy it to complete placement. So why Nobody is it can red? also use the translate function to elevate your core above the ground. Okay. T. T and space. Um, space. T and the um, mouse wheel. Okay, let's do that. Let's put it there. Oh, no. No. Stay. Let's call this poopy pants. You've successfully deployed a static core. From here, you can start to add voxels and elements to it and build a home. Give it a shot using all that you've just learned. Try making a floor and perhaps some other details using the voxels you have left. Okay. E, let's see what we got. Oh, we got some round stuff. Round, round thing that's not very round. E, e, tube, tube. Yeah, put a tube there. Cylinder. You've I mean, now got a, a solid understanding of how to use build mode both for elements and voxels. For the final step of this tutorial, disable build mode and head to the marked waypoint. I'm not done yet. Whoa, we. <laughs> what have we got here? Nah. What was it? Control, control. It's a doggy. <laughs> it's a doggy. I see it as a doggy. Okay. Deactivate build. And this. That is it. That's what, oh, that's what I missed. This. God damn. Silly me. We. You now have an understanding of some of the build tools and how to use them to create amazing structures and ships. There are more tools you can try and discover by yourself. Remember you can always use the helper function to point at tools in your inventory and learn about them. I can't wait to see what you will create. Ah, there is no the limit, save for your own imagination. Cool. 
So when you are ready to leave, stop. go ahead and use the teleporter. Stop talking. <laughs> so, so you can point at the tool is that? and then go H. Ah, beautiful. Deploy ground element. Point at it. Uh, that's a repair tool. So H. Ah, this is good. Oh, that's brilliant. That's the fuel. Refuel. I need to refuel my speeder. H. Refuel tool. Okay, cool. Excellent. Excellent. Tab key. Get, get out of that. Excellent. Very good. Home sweet home. I'll let you build it as you like. But the next step for you will be to deploy the resurrection node that was given to you at the beginning. This will make sure that in the case of a fatal accident, you will respawn here, and not on an Alioth district. You can go into your inventory and simply double click on what it to equip it. What are you it. talking about? <laughs> That's rough. She's talking about my own base. Ah, oh, oh, silly. Anyway, that's that's that done. What we got over there. That's the construction one done. I will uh, link other videos that I've, I've done of the tutorial in the description. I'm, I'm actually glad I redid that one. That was very useful. Very useful. I did learn some stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching.